Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your eighth React tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can handle events in React. Okay, so typically speaking, unless you have a really boring web application, we're going to want some kind of interactivity for it. Whether that be the user clicking on a button or typing something into a field or hovering over an element, that's all some kind of interactivity. And we want to be able to handle that interactivity, those events if you like, through React. And we can do that pretty simply. Now there's loads of different kinds of events we can react to with React. And if you want a full list of them, just head over to the docs at this link. I'll leave it down below. And it gives you a list of all the different types of events that we can use. Now in this tutorial, I'm just going to do a couple of simple ones for click events. So it is really simple to set up a simple event which is what we're going to do first of all. Then once we've done that, we'll look at something a little more complex. So first of all, let's just attach a click event to this P tag. So the way we do it is by saying on click or whatever the event name is on the tag itself. And then we set it equal to something. Now the thing we set it equal to is going to be some kind of function which fires when this happens, when a user clicks on this P tag. And the function is going to be stored on this component. Right, so we set it equal to curly braces again, and then we say this to reference the component, then the function name, which is gonna be stored on it. Now we're gonna call this function clicked, and we've not made that yet, so let's make it. So let's put a comma after this render method and come down here. I'm gonna do another comment saying custom functions, and we'll create a function called clicked, okay? Which is this thing we set here. So set that equal to a function, and then inside here, we're just going to log to the console, simple message, you clicked me. So what's happening here? We've attached a click event to this p tag, which is equal to this dot clicked, which references this function right here. So when someone clicks the p tag, this is going to fire and it's going to log this to the console. Pretty simple, right? So let's save this dude and check it out in a browser. Okay, so when we click this p tag, you click me, and if we click it again, we get it twice. Very, very simple. That's how easy it is to set up an event and a handler in React. So let's do something a little more complex. Say, for example, when we click on one of these things right here on the list, we want to delete it from the list. That's our way of saying we've done it. Well, we can do something like that as well, but it is a little bit more complex. So we no longer want the event happening in this component, we want it happening in this component right here because this is where the individual items are. Make sense? So let's delete this dude first of all. We don't need that anymore or this event. So let's get rid of that. And instead, let's create a click event down here. Now, first of all, I want to add a little cross within this li tag so that when a user clicks that cross, then we'll delete this item. So I'm going to say span class name is going to be equal to item hyphen delete and then inside this we want just an x like that now let's attach a click event to it so we'll say on not ob on click equals some kind of function now because the click event is on here we want the function to be in this component as well because we're going to say this dot whatever the function name is so it's going to look at this component and then the function on this component. So let's call this handle delete. And then we need to make that down here. So again, a little comment, custom functions, and then we'll call this handle delete. I'm going to set it equal to a function, which is going to fire. Now, let's just think about this for a minute. When someone clicks on this cross, this is going to fire, this handle delete thing. And we want this function to delete this item right here, whatever item we click on, from this data. Okay? Now the data is being stored in the state of this component right here, the to do component, the parent component. It's not being stored on this component. So what we need to do is pass this event back up to this component to another function in this component so that that function can delete the item from the state. Makes sense? Because we can't directly delete it from this nested component. So we need to find a way of passing this item 
back up to that component so we can delete that item. So that's what we're going to do. So the way we're going to do that is by passing a function which we're going to create on this component as a prop down into this component so that we can access that function. Okay, so let's here create a function first of all, and we'll call this function on delete. And this is going to take the item. So whatever item it is we want to delete, it's going to take that and it's going to go ahead and delete it. Now I'm just going to paste a little snippet of code in here, then explain it. So within this function, I'm declaring a variable called updated to do's. And then I'm setting that equal to this dot state dot to do's, which is this array. Okay, so I'm setting it equal to that dot filter, which is just a JavaScript function, which means we're going to go through each of the elements in this array and we're going to filter some of them out. Now it takes a callback function with the value, so the string of whatever element it is and the index of that element in the array. So if we return false, then it's going to keep the element in the array. If we return true, it's going to knock it out of the element. So say for example, we take in eat some cheese. So it's saying, okay, well, filter through that array and is the first value, wash up, is that equal to the item, eat some cheese? No, it's not. Okay, so that stays in the array because we're returning false here. Now, is the second one, eat some cheese, is that equal to the item? Yes, it is. So we're returning true here. Therefore, we filter that out of the array. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're filtering the item, which is passed through to us, out of the array right there. So once we perform that action, once we have filtered it from the array and that new array is stored in this updated to do's because this array isn't altered by the filter method. It's just storing the new array in updated to do's. Once we've done that, then we're saying this dot set state, which is how we change the state of the component. And then we're saying the to do's is then going to be replaced by this updated to do's right here. OK, so then we're updating this thing with the new array, with the item filtered out of that array. Make sense? So we want to pass whatever item it is down here up to this function right here so that we can filter it out of the array and change the state. So we're going to pass this function down into this component as a prop so that we can do that. So we're now to pass props down. We come to the component, which is nested right here, and we pass it down on that component. So we're going to call the, uh, the prop on delete, set it equal to this to reference this component dot on delete. So we're passing down this function right here into this component. Make sense? So now we can access this function in here. So when this is clicked, this cross, we're going to say this dot handle delete, which is this function. Then I want to say this dot props dot on delete, which is the function we've just passed down into this component, this thing right here. And then we're going to pass an item into that, which represents this item here. And the item we're going to pass in is simply this thing right here, this dot props dot item. So let's pass that in and save it. So now when we click this, this item, this cross, it's going to fire this function, which is going to say this dot props dot on delete the function which is passed down to us and pass in the item into that delete method. So we're passing that item into this method right here, which is filtering through the array, creating a new array and taking this item out of that array. Then it's updating the state by saying this dot set state and it's setting the to do's of the state, which is this thing right here with the new array that we've just created, the new filtered array. Make sense? Cool. So let's save this and try it out. OK, so that's good so far. No errors. Always a good sign. And if we click on one of these, now it gets removed from the list. Awesome. So there we go, guys. That's how we create an event and that's how we handle events. And that's also how we pass events down into nested components and pass the handlers back up into parent components. So until the next video, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the very next one.